guys, it's Anne. Welcome to my home worm farming channel. If you are looking for a friendly, helpful vermicompost community, you are in the right place. Today we're going to be harvesting the vermibag little mammoth, and then we're going to check on the worms and see if the gnat apocalypse is over. Okay, so first things first, we've got two zippers here. I'm going to undo one side of it. And luckily, a lot of it fell right down. Then I'm gonna take my claw here and I'm gonna rake out as much as I can getting a little bit above this zipper here. Hopefully you can see that. Eventually I'll get in there with my hands, but for the biggest part, I am just going to be getting, using the claw and then when I get down to the fine detail part, that's when I'm going to want to get things from exactly in the middle because I'm going to have to repeat this step on the other side and I want it to kind of be equal. And we're not seeing any worms down here, I'm just seeing little bits of leftover paper, some seeds, but other than that, not a lot. If you do get a bag system like this, you do not want to over harvest or otherwise you could get rid of the integrity of the entire system and it could fall down. And that is one of the things with the continuous flow vertical systems that if you mess it up, you have to start over. So then I'm just gonna slide that right over there and we're going to go ahead and harvest this side of the bin. Okay. I'm doing the zipper from that side, and again, things just generally fall right out because it has dried as it gets down to the bottom of the bin here. Then get my claw, because I forget I have one. And then I'm just gonna gently rake around the edges here until I get to about the zipper area again. And because I can't really feel what I'm doing, I do have to get in there with my hands to tell, oops to tell exactly where I'm at. There we go. I've got about a mortar tray worth of castings here, and that will be, that's what I would consider to be a good harvest. It's been about four months since I've harvested this bin, and uh, one of the things you can do in order to get these bags to settle back down is give them a good punch. knocking out all of your worm bin frustrations. Okay, let's go up top now and see how the top of the bin is going. Okay, let's see what the top of the bin is doing here and see how the gnat apocalypse is going. Well, looks like we still have some gnats, but uh, Rome wasn't built in a day, right? I did not put my gnat trap back in there, so quite honestly, that probably could have helped a little bit. I just apparently had a blonde moment and did not get it done. So first things first, I've got to knock all this stuff down to the bottom to make sure that it is making contact with the bottom of the bin, or otherwise the continuous flow will not work. Got my trusty dusty broom handle. Looks like I'm canoeing here canoeing inside of my bin. My arms are not long enough to make it all the way down to the bottom. So that is just, this is how it's gonna work. We know that we did not get all the gnats out of here, but we did have a good size feeding last time, so let's see if if we can see any of that. Oops, got a uh, nice avocado pit that is breaking up for me. Let's see, there was tomatoes and peppers and banana in here, and that was about four weeks ago, so that's, it was kind of a light feeding, kind of trying to get this bin to have less people food and more carbon, less things for the, the gnats to want to come in for. 
I don't think gnats just want to come and hang out and eat paper, so um, that's part of my idea anyway. But I did come in last week and add another gallon of the BT water in hopes to continue the treatments even when I don't bring you guys with me. All right, so that, the gnats are definitely 100% less, but they are not 100% gone. Okay, so I'm gonna get all the bigger chunks of paper here. Looks like the moisture's doing pretty well in here. So it seems like about every two weeks adding moisture, even when the furnace is not on and the air conditioning is not on, that that's about a good time for this bin. It is hard to manage the moisture in a bin that's made out of fabric. Okay, so no nice swarm ball, but I'm glad to see less gnats. That is one of the problems with shipping paper or shipping tape. Although it's made out of paper, I think the fibers on the inside are not. So eventually you're going to have to take that out. And I don't mind. That's okay. So I'm going to dig myself a little bit of a hole here in the middle. Put this leftover paper. And um, I think this is a cabbage stalk. It's amazing how they almost turn into wood over the course of a year. That's, that's not real like tree wood. That is from a cabbage. Bizarre, right? Okay, so we've got our nice base here for the food. The food for today is going to be quite a bit of mango and other table scraps, but quite a bit of mango. And then in addition to the mango and the avocado, I have got my slurry of eggshell that I've been doing lately. Not a tapeworm, just a noodle. So that's going to be a much better size feeding. The onions have been frozen, so and a little bit of bread. Everything should be good. Then the thing that I'm going to do in order to try and prevent any more of the gnats is I'm going to add paper to the bed or bedding to the bed that's been prepared that I've used BT water on instead of regular water. And that is about four gallons of uh, prepared bedding. And this has only been paired, prepared a couple of days. I wasn't sure if the BT would last the length of time that um, I wanted the bedding to age. So I kind of just, you know, hedged my bets on that one. So unlike last time, I am going to put a gnat trap in here to hopefully lure the adults in here and uh, kill them off. So I'm going to use my my covering here and then I'm going to dig a little hole for the gnat trap so it can stay flat. If you're interested in knowing how to make one of these little gnat traps, I do have a video that I can link at the end for you so you can learn how to make it. It's just a soda bottle and some apple vinegar and some water and that's all it takes. If you've ever had a gnat apocalypse in your bin, let me know and let me know how you handled it and how long did it take to fix because we're going on probably two months now and it's still not over. So uh, give me your ideas and your thoughts on the bin. If you're interested in African night crawlers, I have a whole playlist right over there. And if you've already seen that, YouTube thinks you're going to like this video right over here. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.